Now we're going to factor by grouping, and we're going to do this with a four-term polynomial. We've got u squared plus 3u plus 6uq plus 18q. And here's what you do. Put parentheses around the first two terms. Put parentheses around the second two terms. Now, we're going to factor the first set of parentheses by the greatest common factor. And you can see that both of these terms have a u in them. So we'll say u parentheses u plus 3. And you know this because u times u, if you distribute the u, u times u is u squared. And u times 3 is 3u. So we've done this correctly. You can always go backwards to check yourself. Now, the same thing over here. We know that 18 is 6 times 3. So both terms have a 6, and both terms have a q. So 6q is going to be the GCF of the second two terms, which will leave us with a u plus a 3. Well now, and, and again, yes, you can distribute the 6q to the u, that will give you 6qu, or 6uq, and you can take the 6u and multiply it by the 3, and you'll get 18q, which is what you started with. Now, notice that the u plus 3 in both terms is exactly alike. They are exactly alike. So this now becomes your GCF. Pull that out to the front. U plus 3. Because you've got a U plus 3 in this term and a U plus 3 in this term. You pull that out and what you're left with is U plus 6Q. But how do you know you're right? How do you know you're correct, really? Well, here's how. I'm going to FOIL these two factors. F, O, I, L. And remember, there's an understood plus between the first, the outside, the inside, and the last. So now, first is going to be u times u. That's u squared. Outside is going to be u times 6q. So that's going to be 6uq. Or actually, it should be 6qu. But, oh well. And then inside is going to be 3u. And last is going to be 3 times 6 times q, which will be 18q. And of course, we're adding these terms. And that's it. We can rearrange any terms that are added. So we'll have u squared plus 3u plus 6uq plus 18q, which is exactly what we started with. So that means this is the correct factorization. Talk to you later. We're going to factor a four-term polynomial by grouping. And why is it called grouping? Because we group the first two terms and we group 
the second two terms. So I'm going to group the first two terms, and I'm going to group the second two terms, and then I'm going to factor the first two terms by the greatest common factor. Both of these terms have an A in them, so I'll pull out an A, and then A times what is A squared? Well, A times A is A squared. Copy the minus sign. A times what is 7A? Well, 7. Because A times 7 is 7A. We've taken care of the first set of parentheses. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to factor the second set of parentheses by GCF. Both of these terms have a B in them. So I'll pull out the B as a common factor. B times what is AB? Well, times A. So I'll write down an A, copy down the minus sign, and then B times what is 7B? 7. B times 7 is 7B. So now we've factored the second set of parentheses by GCF, the greatest common factor. Now consider the entire polynomial. The plus in the middle separates the first term from the second term. Notice that both of these terms have an a minus 7. I will pull a minus 7 out as the GCF. And then I'll write the leftovers, a plus b. Now how can we be sure that we got it right? By foiling. f plus o plus i plus l. A times A is A squared. Outside is A times B. Inside is minus 7A. And last is minus 7B. And remember, there's an understood plus sign anytime you subtract. And when you have plus signs, when you have terms that are added, the order doesn't matter, so you can rearrange them. Well, now that I have my imaginary plus signs, they're not imaginary. They're really there, only we don't usually write them. I can now switch my terms around. a squared minus 7a plus ab minus 7b. This is exactly what I started with, and that means that this is the correct factorization. Now we're going to factor by grouping a four-term polynomial, but there's a difference, and it's a very important difference, as you'll see. Okay, first, I'm going to do what I did before. I'm going to combine the first two terms. And I'm going to combine the second two terms, but. Whenever you've got a minus in the middle, you change the middle sign behind it. This minus is going to have to become a plus. Now, now that I've done that, I'm going to uh, factor out the GCF of the first two terms and the second two terms 
just like I did before. So here goes. Both of these terms contain a 7 and a z because 14 is 7 times 2. So I pull out the 7 and the z and what that leaves me with is z plus 2. As always, I don't trust myself that much. So I go ahead and I distribute the 7z to the z and to the 2. Now 7z times z is 7z squared, and 7z times 2 is 14z. So I factored the first set of parentheses correctly. Now I copy down the minus sign, and I look at each of these terms, and I can see immediately that they each contain an A. Now, A times Z is AZ. I have to remember that this is a plus now. And A times 2 is 2A. Now I happily notice that I have a z plus 2 and a z plus 2, one on each side of this polynomial. The z plus 2 becomes the GCF. And then I write down the leftovers, 7z minus a. You only change this middle sign when you have a minus in the middle. If there were a plus sign there, then I wouldn't change the, the, uh, the sign in the middle of the second set of parentheses. Okay, now, as always, I'm going to check my work. I'm going to make sure that I factored correctly because I can always make a mistake. So I'm going to F plus O plus I plus L. Now, Z times 7Z is 7Z squared. Outside, Z times negative A is negative a z. Inside, 2 times 7 z is 14 z. And last, 2 times minus a is negative 2 a. And there are the plus signs in between. Now I can rearrange my terms as long as there are plus signs between them. So I'll have 7z squared plus 14z minus az minus 2a. And that is exactly what I started out with originally. So that means that my factorization was correct. Now we're going to factor by grouping a four-term polynomial that has multiple numbers and letters and I'm going to show you a trick of how you can avoid having to change the sign in the middle. Because notice, if we leave this four-term polynomial the way it is, you will have a minus sign in the middle, which means you'll have to change the second sign, which we definitely don't want. So, watch this. Notice that your first sign here is a plus sign. What if I were to 
reverse the two terms, the two middle terms, so that I have 28 r squared minus 4xr plus 21ry minus 3xy. Now I have a plus sign in the middle which means I don't have to worry about changing signs. This won't work if you have, if both of the middle signs are negative, but it does work when only one of them is. Okay, now I'm going to factor the first two terms, that is I'm going to group them, and I'm going to group the second two terms. And now I do not have to change this sign because this sign is a plus sign. I'm going to factor by grouping. Don't forget that 28 is 4 times 7. r squared is r times r. And so each of these terms in the first set of terms has a 4 and an r in it. I'm going to pull out the 4r as a GCF and that will leave me with 7r minus x because 4r times x is 4xr. I would have said 4rx. All right, now I'll copy the plus sign down and I will proceed to factor the second set of parentheses, the terms in the second set of parentheses by GCF. And here, remember that 21 is 7 times 3. So each of the terms in the second set of parentheses contains a 3 and a y. So I'll pull out 3y as the greatest common factor, and that will leave me with 7r minus x. And you can always double check yourself at this point by distributing in your head, distributing. 4r times 7x is 28r squared, and 4r times x is 4xr. 3y times 7r is 21ry, and 3y times x is 3xy. All right, that's correct. That's what I started with. Now, notice that on this side of the expression and this side of the expression, I have 7r minus x. That becomes my GCF. And then I, I make a second set of parentheses and I write the leftovers. 4r plus 3y. And I leave it up to you to check this because I have run out of room and out of time. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.